We believe that God is the Father Almighty and that He is the maker of heaven and earth. As the scriptures have said, we believe in Jesus, that He is Christ, and is the only God's Son of the Father. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered of the Holy was crucified here in the earth. On the third day, he rose to the dead, and declared victory over the grave, death, and hell. He has gone back to the Father to prepare a place for us in his kingdom. He will come back as he promised to judge the world and to deliver the righteous. We believe in the Holy Ghost, the Christian Church, the community of saints, the forgiveness of sin, and the resurrection of the Bible. And eternal life for all who believe. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. 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 Our scripture will be by their own Deacon Gerald Green. Good morning. Good morning. I'll be reading Matthew, the ninth chapter, 27th and 30th verse. When Jesus departed again, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. They said unto him, Yea, Lord. Then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus greatly charged him, saying, See that no man know it. I read Matthew 9, chapter 27, 30, verse. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Somebody wrote a song and said, What a friend we have in Jesus. All, right. All our sins yeah. and griefs to that. What a privilege yeah. it is to have yeah. everything. Yeah. Not something, but everything. Yeah. To God in prayer. Yeah. I was sick and shut in and listen in the following at the Bride Center, Brother Oscar Long, yeah. Miss Susie Hopper, yeah. Miss Kathy Williams, Deacon Victor Morrison, <coughs> Barry Peacock, Anita Yarborough, yeah. the Hardy and Thompson family, Mother Bruce McLean, Willie McCord, Mother Winnie Jenkins, William Lee. The Beasley and Sample family. Eula Mitchell, Mother Lila, Mother Lily Mitchell, Marie Allen, Mother Opa Taylor, Neil Sabara, Brenda White, Charles Spate, Leslie Rogers, Lily Rogers and family, and the Allen family, at the Allen and Duncan family. And also I'd like to add to that list, the Long family. Anybody else want to add a name to the list? The Cox family. The Cox family. James Bailey and James Green. James Bailey and James Green. James Bailey and James Green. That's how many in Hodge family? The Hodge family. The Robinson family. The Robinson family. Reverend Joanna's upcoming surgery. Mother Joanna's upcoming surgery. <laughs> The Hall family, <coughs> the Hall family, the Oak Grove Free Will United Baptist Church family. Let us pray. Dear Father, we give you thanks today. Oh Lord, you have been our own mercy and for your love. We thank you that you have blessed us to see this day. Because yeah. this is the day that you have made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Yeah. Father, let us invite you to come into our service today. Yeah. Move by your spirit. Touch each and every one of us and heal, Lord Jesus. Yeah. And give us strength. Thank and give us encouragement. And give us love. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you have heard every name that was called by our parents. And even those, Lord Jesus, that we could remember. You know everything about every one of them, Lord Jesus. Because you have said that even the hands of our hands are numbered. So, Lord, there is nothing to on the sun. There is nothing new to you. No situation that you have already addressed. No disease that you have healed. So, as your hand is out, Lord Jesus, to move today, build those that are sick. 
Lift up those that are downtrodden. Give comfort to those that are in need of comfort. Give peace to those that are in need of peace. Bless us today. Lord Jesus, we ask your blessing upon the pastor as we bring up the word today. We pray that you will preach the word, that you will give us ears to hear and heart to receive. We, we ask your blessing upon the musicians, for the choir, and the usher. And we pray that everyone that's here today, Lord Jesus, will live, leave this place today. Bless. We thank you and we pray to us. We do ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Saying that we continue to encourage Reverend John and we lift her up that she deals with the doctor on tomorrow. I really love the Lord. Somebody say that. I really love the Lord. Don't know what he done for me. Gave me the victory. Sang a hymn, 
and went out to the Mount of Olives and so that we no longer have Mount of Olives but when we have so many ways we can fellowship and show love one to another. Old song, let us break bread together on our hands. Y'all help me now. Let us break bread
Ja, komm auf, schön aus dem Land. So, 
Faith is the cornerstone of Christianity. Hebrews 11 and 6 reminds us that without faith, it is impossible to believe God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. The, the diligent are those people who earnestly seek God. I'm talking about folks who are serious about it. You know, we, we are serious about the Dallas Cowboys. Aren't uh, 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 we thinking on? Amen. And there's certain things y'all, y'all are serious about. I, I, I could not persuade my sister-in-law to put on a Duke lanyard. I don't care if it was made of gold. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Talk to your back. Yeah. You know? Amen. And so, we got to be that way about God. Uh, the people of God have to be serious. Ultimately concerned about doing God's will. People who are not caught up in their own self-confidence and ability, but but one that realize that in spite of everything, that the bottom line is that my help comes from the Lord. And and so uh, that anything that I do, uh, my ability to do it is vested in the omnipotent, somebody say omnipotent, power of God, and in the capacity to make a talk to him as well. Which I mean that, that God's word will, word will accomplish exactly what it says it will accomplish. And in order to know why God's word says it, you must hear it. So a whole lot of folks can't get it because there's no way around to hear the word of God. Uh, so that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And whether well, you don't believe it, you won't say it. And if you won't say it, you won't do it. Every now and then you need to tell somebody. I love God. That Jesus is my Savior. Be honest with yourself. Wouldn't that if you walked up to somebody and told them that? Now, I'm not just talking about in church. When, when you do believe, then faith is produced and it becomes an I can attitude. That's what Paul uh, was talking about in Philippians 4 and 13 when he says that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Because I believe. Many situations, I can see how, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I wasn't sure how I was going to get there. But if my faith in God is first stop worrying about it. You don't have anything in me, your faith is well founded. Get on up off of your knees and follow Jesus. My own conductor. Somebody ain't here know what I'm talking about. Have you ever dealt with a situation that you felt nobody really can help you? A condition that the doctor really didn't even have an answer for? Or any other condition? Could be a relationship. You ain't never had a jacked up relationship. Uh, a relationship seemingly beyond the scope of the Oh, uh, it could be a light bill, a car, or a house bill, uh, any uh, multiplicity of financial situation that need immediate infusion of capital and nobody can turn to. Now, I had to hit somebody somewhere. For some of this morning, your blindness could be a substance of his problem. And it might even give, even give you uh, issues that God alone and God all by himself and nobody else can help you. And because you, 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 you love him, you love it, you are affected by these things, those situations still are in your mind, body, and soul. The only thing that we deal with is the things that we can see on the physical. But you walk in a physical being. Sometimes you get ripped up in your psyche. Your mind is jacked up. And you need some help there. Some of, some of this stuff is, is, is so emotional. We have emotional issues we can't get over. But we simply, and they know they diagnose. Some of y'all walk around here, five over and all five doors. Amen. 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 You ain't never been in a liquor house. You act like you run a liquor house. Mom, use a strange language. But the whole thing is, is that if you never got into situations, sometimes you could be mentally drained. Uh, and sometimes you're just sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sick and tired. <laughs> you can, and you can substitute your cup of troubles at this point. 
But the point of commonality you might describe a level of psychosis that says, I, I can't go another moment, another second, another minute, another hour, another day, another week, another week, and another month, another year without a fresh touch from the Lord. I need that touch. Somebody say, I need that touch. And to get that fresh touch, you must serve the power of Jesus. Verse 27 says that with Jesus, the power, then two men did what? They followed him. You gotta follow God. You gotta get up and go follow God. You can follow your God riding through dead fire baptists. Amen. They talk to y'all about this. We need you. To follow you to go out and pursue. Follow your action word. Every now and then, I know it's going to be at home, but every now and then, you ought to be in the house. 2 Corinthians 5 17 declares that for any man being in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away, but we're all things to do. If you want a new condition, if you want a change in your life, then you must be in Christ. Not only that, but don't you recall Jesus speaking to this Bible in Matthew 16 saying, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself. He said, He said, Take the cross and follow me. You follow Jesus by speaking his word in our lives. You follow Jesus by telling the word, by feeding the sheep. You follow Jesus by putting God first to life. The word that seeks me first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And everything else that you really need. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Jesus departed. Two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And I want you to know that that's a, that was a prayer. Y'all miss it. That's a prayer. Anytime you are communicating with God, that's a prayer. Anytime you are asking the Lord for something, that's a prayer. See, we read that, we can recognize that as a prayer. That was a prayer. Prayer is an act of entreating or imploring. It's making the connection that God is calling on the name of the Lord. And not only that, but prayer is supposed to lead to prayer. After I get through prayer, I have peace. Mm-hmm. I say, Amen. 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 Don't worry about that no more. God is going to handle it. Yeah. He got the pain in my heart. Prayer, prayer is supposed to bring your healing relationship. The old folk will tell you how to hold on, but they don't want They'll tell you that prayer changes things. Where does God say with the special perfect prayer of a righteous man of Mary? Oh, somebody say much. And if you ever get down, let me tell you something. Let you know the secret. If you're going to get me, you got to get me quick. You're going to take me out, you got to take me out quick. Don't ever give me a chance to go down on my knees. Because if I stick in my knees, I call the Lord. Y'all in trouble. I'm scared to mess with some of y'all. I don't know. So all I need mean, that brother listens to start talking to Jesus. I leave God people alone. And then Jesus said to them, He said, Believe ye that I'm able to do this. Did y'all hear that? No, no, really. Jesus wanted to know, do you really believe that he's able to do it? So you ask God to do stuff, but look, when you ask him, do you really move this thing? I mean to see people. Do you, do you really believe that God is able to do what you ask Him to do? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you don't, you don't even ask Him. They don't even pray. They don't even call on the Lord. You call on Him, you believe it, you let it go and watch God do His thing. Yeah. And, and, and then, but it's also that you need to understand that this theory is saying, listen to what God is teaching you. Uh, Jesus before, therefore, it's Matthew 7, 24, 25, I follow the power of him. Therefore, whoever hears these things of mine and do with them, I will write them into a wise man, which built his house upon a rock, and the rain is sitting in 
because you must be doing what the whole world. Yeah. Somebody said, oh. Oh, oh. Here's, here's the critical issue. Here's the critical issue. Listen to this, man. Listen to this. Listen. And I ain't talking about nobody. Just talking about who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Some of us bring problems to God. Never really believe that God will fix them. Don't you know that? Whenever you bring your problems to God, that God is going to ask you, even at this very minute right now, do you believe that I'm able to do it? Lord God, my husband's booked upside his head, and I just don't think he's ever going to get fixed. I need your help. God is saying, do you, do you really have to fix this? Do you, or do you really want me to fix this? Be careful what you ask for, because God might go, he got on you, baby. Well, hold on. But the thing is, God is going to answer you. Are you really able to do it? The two blind men told Jesus, yes, Lord. And Jesus touched their eyes, saying, according to your faith, be it unto you. Your trust in God, your faith is well. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying that you have faith. God has power. If you're not safe, God has power. If you're not safe, God has power. I'm going to go to one witness. Let's go one more minute. Not just about Matthew Gospel. The Bible says that Jesus is on his way to heal the power of his daughter. And a woman who had an issue of blood 12 years, she had faith. She didn't say that she wasn't sitting outside trying to make a phone call, getting to the Lord. She drove her away to find out where Jesus was. She didn't take out the law, the divine uh, law, the physical law, because she had an issue of blood and don't put her around this. She uh, was in the community. She went in because she knew that Jesus could heal her own life. For the word of God said, she didn't go out of the day, y'all. You know how I said I need to see Jesus. And she got caught and she went down and she touched this my wife. She touched the hem of her garments. And I mean, she touched the hem of his garments. And immediately, somebody said immediately, the issues tied out. I want you to know that this woman knew that there was nothing she could do to get that situation to heal. She knew that she had to heal her faith on Jesus. You see, the Lord of God, if you think about it, this woman was taking the whole spiritual. But now,
according to your faith. We all would be a whole lot further along than we are right now. If we just took a word out there, if I had the faith the size of a mustard seed, I could say to this mountain, mountain, be that moon. And the mountain would get over its tippy tippy toes and move out. Y'all don't hear me. Y'all comment it's going to happen. Because I'm ready to go. But I don't want to go without being sure that you get it. You know, someone online tell the church, faith is a muscle. You know, if I can show you these muscles I got, let, let them rip for you. Y'all yeah, understand that, that the, the reason I got these muscles is because I'm exercising. And faith is a muscle too. Oh, y'all, okay, see me out of church. Um, faith is a muscle too that we have to exercise, okay? And so as, as our faith increases, so does our ability to please God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, somebody here this morning doesn't know God is all the same. And it might not be nobody in here. Could be those out of TV land, Facebook land, YouTube land. But I'm asking you, if you were to die today, and you wouldn't know when you wake up in the presence of the Lord, then if I were you, I would give my life to Jesus. I'd walk down this aisle and get my hands to the preacher and my life to the Lord. And maybe it's one of those situations. Why you should be strong? In the Lord, work hard in the church. You ran across a situation in the church that made you just want to leave. But then you, you realize that you can't even live without him. And you can't be back. Remember, God is married to the what? To the backslider. And I, I'm in. Y'all ain't think I do the moon waters. I have slid back. And the Lord had grabbed me, wrapped his arms around me, and brought me to where I needed to be. And so, if that's your case, over here to my right and your left, Red to raise your hand. Let's meet over here for counseling, for prayer. If you want to join the church, we can talk to you about it, man. We just want to be saved, and, and we don't care. We just want you in the church somewhere. Think that's what I got to be here, right? We might have church here now. Y'all always go. But I don't ever want to be out of God's presence. I always want to be with us. Don't want to live without them. Can y'all sing a little of this for me? Because there is no way.
Take just a second to thank my officers today. I bless the ocean with my name. My videographer and my choir, the uh, musicians. All of y'all look mighty good for me. You, you have to see you from where I see you. You know how good you look. A couple of y'all hate to say my God knows when. But I thank God for you being here today. Amen. 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 That's not one of y'all I don't love. I want you to know this. And God, I'm like God, I have no respect to person. I love you all the same. Now I do say I love my wife just a little more. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. I'm supposed to. Amen. When you know, you know. Thank you, Lord, for the fellowship of kindred and spirits. And thank you, God, for mindset and reminds us that as you get ready to walk out of this door, that we can't even walk without your holy hand. And then, God, as we think about that person who may not be saved, we want to lift them up. And remember, they will not seek, they must be sought, they will not learn, they must be taught, they will not come, they must be bought. If every soul will win, one soul. That every soul will be saved. Somebody say, Go get your one. Go get your one. And now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless before his presence with exceeding great joy to the only wise God our Savior. Be glory and majesty. The name of the Son of the Child. For now and forth and forevermore. In the name of Jesus we pray. For his sake we pray. Let the church say, Amen. Amen.